Wow, guys, this beach is incredible. Just set foot on my base. Five past seven in the morning. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. beautiful. It's nice and warm. The sky is blue. The yeah. sand is soft and white. So there's parts of the sand where people haven't stood in it yet. No, like, it's no footprints. So lush. We're going to get some pics Fresh. before the crowds. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Jump! Oh. 
Monkey Beach. I'm loving it so far. It's been sick. I love monkeys, so I feel like we've got close enough. Like, yeah. we've actually seen an accident right at the beginning, which yeah. you guys will see. Yeah, I've loved it. It's been really good. It's nice to see them in their natural habitat. It is. It is. Oh, he's the cutest little thing. Got a sick shot. Sorry. Like we even saw an attack, which you'll probably see. At the end of the tour, we sat on the front of the boat on the way back, and he went ham for leather on those waves, like yeah. proper charging into it. We were flying up in the air and like landing. Honestly, thought I broke a rib. Yeah, it was intense. Like we were screaming and <laughs> laughing. It was so funny. We tried to look for some food, but currently there is a power cut of some sort because there's no right electric. Right across the island as well. Yeah, across the whole island. There's no, no electric. electric. Um, there's no food, we were going to get a pizza to share but we can't have that so we're having falafel and falafel wrap and chips instead but hopefully the power cut doesn't last too long because well, we want to go out and listen to some music Yeah, we tonight. meant to go to a pool party tonight. The pool party starts at 1 so they would have been there for 2 hours and now there'd be no music so they're all just floating around in a pool with yeah. beers like... Awkward. <laughs> um, which is awkward so we were going to just go head, have food, head home and then head straight to the pool party but may as well wait till the electric comes back yeah. on. And so it's mad watching the world fall apart. All these humans are walking around and they have like no zombies. idea <laughs> what to do with that electric. It's, it's hilarious. But yeah, one insane day guys. Highly, highly recommend doing a tour around um, Keepy Lake. This place, just Keepy Island in general. It's just, it literally lives up to everything that you see on YouTube and stuff. Fan bloody fantastic. Thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. <laughs> So, toast to that, fantastic day. So we're gonna party it up tonight and do a fire show, watch a uh, Mai Tai fight, and then head home to sleep finally. We've been up since 5 a.m. So, yeah, tune back in with you guys when we got a little bit of grub. Guys, I didn't take the camera out with us, but we actually made it out and we had a really, really good night. But we ended up on the buckets, we ended up on the G&T buckets, and honest to God, they are lethal. I will not be doing that again. <laughs> we had a great night out. Definitely regretted drinking so much, but it was still fun. This is gonna conclude PP's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maya Bay was honestly a dream island tour. I personally don't think it's overrated. I know a lot of people do, but we went on the early sunrise tour. So we were there at about 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning, and it made all the difference because there was no one at Maya Bay. The sand was literally untouched. So if you're gonna do the Maya Bay tour, I would do the sunrise, it's worth it. You get back by three o'clock and you've got the rest of the day slash evening to do what you want. As a roundup, if you're planning on going to PP, I recommend that you stay there for at least two to three nights, just so you can do the main viewpoint, which is absolutely stunning. It's about a half an hour walk to the viewpoint and doing the Maya Bay tour because it is just a beautiful tour. If you don't do it while you're in Thailand, you really are missing out. The fire show in PP at Slinky's Bar was the best fire show I have ever seen and I know Luke will back that up. It was insane. They went on for hours and hours and hours. We literally sat down and thought, you know, we're gonna watch a half an hour fire show. We literally watched it for about two and a half hours and we went back because we couldn't get enough. It was just insane. So those are my three top things that I would say to do in PP, as well as enjoying the gorgeous beaches that are surrounding the island. Uh, Long Beach was fantastic. Get on a long boat and go to Long Beach for the day as well if you get the chance. Uh, but yeah, some people do a day tour to PP and I just don't think you get 
the full experience of PP if you do a day tour. So, I mean, by all means, if you just want a little taster of PP, do it. But I would recommend staying two to three nights. We stayed four nights, and honestly, we wanted to stay longer, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> anyway, this is going to conclude today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from us, and we will see you in Colipe. Lipe.